one early morning in May of 2020, my life had changed as I knew it. There I stood, hopelessly looking at what I've done. I've come to realize how much this had costed me. And in my hand lied the key to a formidable challenge in my life. The crackle of a sparkle lighter was all it would take to produce a thin streamline of smoke, which enveloped me in a warm, welcoming, yet putrid embrace. Small objects and small events combined that occur throughout your lifetime make people for the better or unfortunately sometimes for the worse. It is important to dwell on the perplexity of how our universe works and how small events lead to major changes in our lifetime. The key, however, is not to dwell on what the universe has provided, but rather to explore what opportunities life has thrown at you. So if life has thrown a lighter as life has thrown at me, then make sure you light the right thing. The title might have deceived you all into believing this would be a story of grief, a series of unfortunate events, and pain. But rather, this is a joyful, twisted fate of events and a passion being unveiled. You have all misunderstood me. The fact of the matter is that the majority had already assumed that this was a chronicle in substance abuse, but rather this was a title in discovering a new joy in life and a dream finally coming true, a passion being unveiled. This is my story about smoking, not the tobacco kind of smoking, but of a mouth-watering, juicy and exquisite type of cooking. Language is important, especially in the way you deliver your message. The language ascertained or dictated when coming to describe people, events or places alludes to whether an individual had a positive or a negative experience. We all understand that elementary fact, yet we fail to implement the theory of tone. We should take caution on how we perceive the gifts of life. We have all, everything we have been through has made us into who we are today. Every downfall and every stumble along the way has created us into where we stand right now. On one early, blistering hot day in May, I woke up to the sound of metal clashing and clattering downstairs, and I ran. And there I found an offset smoker to which my mom had purchased, thinking it was a regular barbecue pit. Mama, I can't grill on that. Well, of course you can. Can't you just use it like any other barbecue grill? And that's where my story had begun. I've never smoked in anything in my life and I was looking forward to doing this. So I decided to start small. So I ordered a few small cuts of meat uh, and all was well. I then received a phone call later on saying that, you know, we received the wrong shipment and all they had available were full pack of briskets. So ladies and gentlemen, if life throws a brisket at you, smoke it. So there I was trimming off the excess fat and tissue having absolutely no idea what I was doing. I woke up at four in the morning the next day, terrified. Good Lord, please tell me I did not screw this up. 14 hours later came time to unwrap this beast. And there I stood unwrapping the tips and I realized I'd done something right. My brother was running around the house ecstatic and my dad standing in pure disbelief. The juices began to seep through. The cutting board began to drip onto waves of subtle goodness. The slice through the middle was the final wave of any doubt and the first wave of reconciliation. I've never cooked something and felt it was so perfect. I took my first bite in fear, and I teared up. Then my father took a bite, then my brother took a bite, and my younger sister took
took a bite, and even courageously, my mother, who doesn't even eat red meat, decided to take a bite. It was a game changer. I know you all must be hungry after hearing all of this, and that was only the beginning of a flavorful and passionate hobby being unveiled. And now I explore my, I explore smoking with anything, with seafood, with poultry, with different types of meat. Now, as a child, I've been passionate about cooking since I was a child, and I remember bringing a step stool in the kitchen and just standing next to my mom, trying to discover what cooking was and to see how much it's developed means the world to me. So the whole moral of the story is as mainstream as it sounds. Discover a passion you never would have thought of trying. Search the vast seas for something to get yourself busy with. Do not let thoughts of self-doubt or hesitation prevent you from finding greatness. I share these stories with my friends and my colleagues and strangers and you, not for the fame, but to inspire the local community and inspire others in finding their passions, as sharing one's passion is the true essence of humanity. Smoking came to me in a dark period of my life. It was my light. I was suffering through a couple of personal obstacles, and we were all affected somehow by the COVID pandemic. From complete lockdowns to anxiety and depression, we're all trying our best with the support of our loved ones and our passions. I implore you all to wade the waters and test out anything you might have once thought of trying. Go through social media, check those saved posts you might have. Uh, go ahead and chase the dreams you may have put aside or on pause. Bring back the old hobbies you might have enjoyed, your younger self might have enjoyed. And remember, it is never too late to try something new. And for some reason or another, we contradict our instinct of adaptation to endeavors and new circumstances while we reside in our little comfort zone. This past year has taught us all one very important thing. Life is short. It is really, really short. Some of us have lost people we love, and most of us have probably suffered throughout this year. Mend those broken relationships you may have. Reach out to family and friends with care. Be nice to one another and be mindful as to what others may be going through. And finally, please do something you love. Do something you love. Thank you.